Question two, given that f of x is equal to x squared minus four x plus five for all real numbers, a, express f of x in the form x plus a all squared plus b, where a and b are integers to be found. So this is the process of completing the square on this expression. So we're starting with f of x is equal to x squared minus four x plus five. Now, since the coefficient of x squared is one, we can divide the coefficient of x by two. This gives us the negative two, which is gonna be inside our bracket. So we've got x minus two all squared. The reason we half that coefficient is if you picture x minus two squared expanded, you'll have x squared minus four x plus four. So the next step is to subtract that four because that's surplus to requirements here and then bring down our plus five. You can simplify the minus four plus five and this is plus one. So our A is negative two and our B is one. The curve with equation y equals f of x meets the y-axis at the point p. It has a minimum turning point at the point q. Write down i, the coordinates of p, and i, i, the coordinates of q. Now, though it isn't required, I do like to have a sketch of the graph if I can produce it. This is a positive quadratic, so I know it to be a u-shape. When x is zero here, I can see quickly that the y axis is five. And I know that when completing the square, this gives me the coordinate of my turning point. I take the opposite sign to the number in the bracket. So this is x coordinate will be two and the y coordinate will be one. So this coordinate here would be two, one. This allows me to sketch this graph of y equals x minus two all squared plus one. And so if we weren't using a diagram, writing the coordinates of P, P is the point where it meets the Y axis. So that is when X is equal to zero. I can substitute X is zero into the equation I have found. This gives me minus two all squared, which is four plus one, which is of course five. This gives me the coordinate of P as zero five. And then I, I to find the coordinates of Q, which are my turning point. As already stated, the turning point coordinates come from our completed square, where we take the opposite sign within the bracket here for X, and then the value on the outside for Y. So Q is two, one.